AuditFlow allows auditors to customise many areas within the application to suit each individual firm's needs. The objective of this video is to demonstrate how to create your own firm template. In doing so, we'll also demonstrate some of the key areas auditors may wish to customise along with AuditFlow's customisation process. In particular, throughout this video we'll demonstrate how to remove work paper index folders, remove work papers from a particular work paper index, remove or add procedures within a work paper, add template documents, and carry forward comments for future files in creating or customising your own firm template. To create your own firm template, simply follow these steps. Click on the drop down arrow to the right of the firm's dashboard. Select Manage Templates. Click on New Template in the top right of the page. Give the template a name for instance, your firm name, and select the type of template, for example, SMSF Audit, and click Create. Click on the drop-down arrow to the right of the Work Paper Index menu, and select Copy Work Papers from Other Files. In the search box, type in the name of the file you wish to import, which will be used as the foundation for your to be created firm template. We'd suggest starting with the latest AuditFlow SMSF version, for example, SMSF 4.0, and search. Tick the box corresponding with the work paper you wish to import. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will import all work papers by selecting select all folders and associated work papers box. Go to the import options at the bottom of the page. Note, for the purpose of creating a firm template from scratch, we'll ignore override work papers and force import boxes. These are discussed in the video copy work papers from other files. Click on import and then go to your work paper index. After clicking on the work paper index menu, you'll be taken to a draft work paper index and are now ready to customise your template. We'll demonstrate how to make the following customizations to your firm template in the following steps. To remove a work paper index folder, go to the work paper index, hover over the area to the right of the particular folder that you wish to delete, and click delete. If at any stage you wish to restore this item, you can do so by clicking on show deleted work papers in the top right of the page, Hover over the right of the deleted folder and click Restore. For the purpose of this video, we'll assume the audit firm consists of the audit partner only and there are no staff other than the partner working on the audit. Accordingly, there may be work papers within the Review Points folder and other folders for that matter that you may wish to delete from your firm template. To do so, open the Review Points folder Identify the review points you wish to delete, for instance, Manager Review Points and Points for Manager. Hover over the right of each work paper line and click Delete. Whilst AuditFlow is designed to provide a complete and comprehensive audit tool for conducting audit engagements, should the auditor wish to add or remove any questions within the audit plan, program or anywhere else within the application, the auditor has the ability to do so. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll assume that the firm does not generally seek bank confirmations when conducting their audits and would like to remove the procedures relating to bank confirmations from the firm's template. To do so, the auditor would open the particular sections relating to bank confirmations, which in this case is the audit program A2.2. Click on the drop down arrow next to the template, then edit mode and delete the particular questions by clicking on the red cross to the right of the question. If the auditor wished to edit an existing question, when in edit mode, he or she would simply click in the space next to where the editing is required and make the modifications.
Finally, if the auditor wished to add a complete new procedure, when in edit mode, he or she could do so by clicking on add row at the bottom of the relevant section, and type in the required procedure. For instance, list the appropriate sampling method and size for vouching withdrawals to supporting documents based on the assessed risk in work paper B7. When finished editing, the auditor then needs to click template, close edit mode, to be taken back to the area of the application they were working on. If a firm has their own template letters, such as engagement letters, auditor reports, management letters, etc., that they would like to attach to their firm template, they have the ability to do so by following these steps. Identify the document within your server and location within AuditFlow that you wish to incorporate into your firm template. Drag and drop the document from your server into the AuditFlow application. For instance, A3, the template auditor's report, A4 for the template management letter, and A5 for the representation letter. If you wish for these letters to replace a template letter existing within AuditFlow, you would simply then delete the particular letter. Finally, auditors also have the ability to insert comments to a particular question and have these comments carry forward to all future audit files. Once a comment is added to a comment box, for instance, those we're showing you now in work paper A2.2, upon releasing the draft template, all future files using this template will include the added comments. Once the firm has created their own customised version of the application, to save the version they need to click on the drop down arrow to the right of Template, Close Template File, click on Dashboard, Change Draft to Released, After releasing the firm template, whenever a new file is created, the auditor simply selects the firm template from the list of templates stored in AuditFlow.